Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. The Providence Phoenix has named their list of 2010's unsexiest men. And when it comes to unsexy, I could say I guess you could say that this was the year of the cheater. Am I right? Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly. From Tiger from Tiger to Edwards to Jesse James, infidelity has been everywhere lately, earning these men some of the top spots. But let's start with number five, and uh, it's John Mayer for some of his offensive comments lately. Coming in at number four is frequent flyer Kevin Smith because, quote, no one wants to sit next to the guy who made cop out. Number three of John Edwards. Uh, not that we really have to explain this, uh, but just in case you forgot, he cheated on his cancer-stricken wife, impregnated his campaign aide, and then made a friend take his fall. Um, terrible. That, I mean, that was it's really terrible. pretty good terrible. run right there. I mean, right? If you're going to go big, go big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good Lord. And then number two is interesting. It, uh, it's the situation from the Jersey Shore, who's being held as the world's most inept ladies' man. <laughs> I'm looking for the Providence Phoenix. I'm, I'm, I'm signaling to the interns. It's on my desk. I've been, I was reading it this morning. The Providence Phoenix. By the way, how, that how do you strike out with the ladies desk. with abs like that? Well, here's There's the interesting. One in the weather center too. There, okay. There's, here's the interesting thing, though. I thought it was interesting. Uh, Pauly D didn't make this list. Well, he's not unsexy, though. He's not unsexy. No, no, unsexy because of who they are and what they do. I don't, I don't, you know, to me, the whole cast of the Jersey Shore is this, unsexy. He's like, the, the lead goofball. Yeah, he is. Holly D actually GTL. came off as a decent guy, and he's working hard now, DJing. Right, Situation enough. was, I don't know. Well, Sorry, buddy. But. This is where <laughs> I go. was at. Thank you for getting this for me. This, the reason I had to say uh, I, I needed to grab this is because this guy is, of course, number yeah, one, exactly. Tiger Woods, like Got you me. had to ask, right? Um, are you surprised by any of the choices here? Not at all. Um, I mean, they went, obviously, it had nothing to do with looks, except for maybe Kevin Smith. Well, um, you know, you know it's, it's interesting that you said that, though, Ben, because I think that, especially for women, and Michelle, maybe you feel this way, too, once you find out that a, a guy's character is different, you really do see them that's in different That's what I was going to well, say. That's what I was saying. Is, women yeah. had to have an input on this, because guys are like, yeah, you know, they can forgive and right. forget, but for women, I think you're right. It's like, it's, it's not just about how you look on the outside, but how you are on the inside, yeah. too, for a lot of women that makes a man attractive or unattractive. And it really does. I, I have to say, after, after Brad Pitt left Jim Jennifer Aniston and was playing yeah. house with Angelina Jolie and all Plus this. Plus the goatee thought, right now. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> Shave Terrible. that thing. I'm hoping it's Come for on. a role. I'm hoping that's for he a role. He said he was out of boredom. I don't know. But I in any know. case. But you were right. I, I, was, I was saying, you know, just what uh, Michelle said, once you see a person's character, they, you know, who cares what they look like? Yeah. I mean, and it's even the same for girls. Prob uh, probably tougher for guys. Girls can get away with being more... I mean, you know how guys are. Well, if a girl's gorgeous, I, we'll give her a lot more leeway. If a guy is very handsome and he does some of the things that Tiger's done or like, Jesse James oh, done. Sure. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I tell you, Ben's always walking around here like, look at the character on that one. <laughs> so yeah, I know <laughs> that that's really important to you. It's got but, really pretty inside. Well, I didn't make the list, by the way. I didn't make the list. I know. You're not the unsexiest man in America, Ben. Isn't only that the, Only in Cranston. <laughs> uh, Jesse James, of course, was on this. Mark Sanford was on it, lest we forget him and his, you know, his wife, Jesse, Jenny Sanford. Um, Mark McGuire was on this, which I thought was interesting. Lil Wayne, in case, in case anyone was really, you know, rooting for him. Rooting for him. And uh, Ryan Seacrest. Okay. Although, like that, I to. I, he's a hard worker. Man. I don't know, but I need to turn to page 10 because I, I don't know why. Yeah, Ryan Seacrest is a, is a hard worker. Reasons he's on the list. He's a hard, he's hard working, well dressed, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like good stuff. Oh, but he's got the charisma of a resident at Madame Tussauds. I don't think no. so. I don't know, Providence. That, see, Courtney, that one I have to d disagree with. But I have to say, in general, most of them I, I have Pretty to accurate. agree. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you guys have the magazine over there. Is John Goslin on there, Evan? Oh, uh, what about oh, oh, Why that's, isn't he number one? Oh, that's, that's happened there. That's terrible. Where is this poll? Gross. I need to vote in this poll. That's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> so we're talking about some qualities that make men unsexy on the live blog and on Facebook. I'll just read a few here from foxprovidence.com. And Lisa says, definitely bad hygiene and bad personality is unsexy for sure. And she also adds character as well. And uh, Ja Rule says, he's not sure he can answer this question because he's a dude. So uh, he's, he's not going to weigh in there. We're looking for, for women comments, I guess. Here's our poll here on foxprovidence.com. What qualities make up an unsexy man? A, personality. B, looks. 
C, character, D, hygiene. This is a toss-up for me. I'm going with C and D, but we'll see what takes the cake at the end of the show. And uh, a couple of comments we had on our Facebook page. Leslie, Leslie O'Dwyer says, arrogance and a couple of others are saying definitely bad hygiene. So that's interesting to see what the ladies are looking for out there. But I agree, so I'm not too far off. I'll be back at the end of the show with those poll results to see which one has won for our Roadshow viewers. Right now, we're going into the kitchen. Lily, what's